Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to start the Land Cruiser using the remote control and also how to use the cruise control and the infotainment screen and also the crawl control system in the Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage. So the way to start the Land Cruiser is first, when the car is unlocked, you press it once so it beeps. Now you press it once more and another time and then long press it keep pressing it you will see the lights blinking and that's when the car will start and if you want to switch it off again just long press it and it would just switch off so the way to use the crawl control is using these buttons and this dial so this is the on off activation button for the crawl control so in order to do that first you have to put the drive in neutral then you have to engage the car in four low which is visible out here that is has been engaged and now you have to put the car in drive and then press this button and then again you see there is a notification which says the crawl control has been activated and now you can sp set the speed so that whenever you power it it, it won't overpower the wheels so you can shift it there are different levels and then once you come out you go exactly in the reverse order so you switch this off there you go it's switched off and after that put it in neutral or high and once you're out you can go back to driving again the Land Cruiser comes with standard cruise control system and there is like a stick which has been given on the right side at the bottom side of the steering wheel so there is this button which you press and it activates the cruise control which you see right out there so let me show you again by yes so now it's activated again and in order to set the speed you have to flick it down it's already written set and also if you want to increase the speed while you are in the cruise control you can flick it up and then it would increase in a gap of one and when you long press it it will increase in a gap of 10 so flick it upside and flick it down so if you ever come out of cruise control you can just flick it up and it will resume which is the res and if you want to cancel the cruise control you can just flick it in front and it will be deactivated without using the brake pedal if you want to so the infotainment screen is a very easy to use system it's a 10 inch tft touch screen and the touch response is very good so the menus are all laid out out here there is a radio button so when you press that you can have the radio and then you can set the channels out here by long pressing them so if i want any other channel i can just long press it and then it would set it out here there's there are also additional channels which you can add so up to 12 channels that you can add and then again coming back to the main menu then there is media option so there is a disc player there is a, a bluetooth there is usb you can put the, auxiliary there is hdmi there is miracast its own app that you can download and then you can connect all the different uh, features of your phone it's, it's pretty much like your apple carplay and the android auto there is also the navigation system the navigation system is very good in this one it's super snappy and easy to use just set your destination out here it will calculate the route and then everything and it also shows you big bright you know displays out here with the the routes out here also it tells you to uh, keep in which lane and everything it will show you all the assist on the screen itself and it is because the screen is pretty uh, big so it's easier to use now coming back to the main menu and then the phone so whenever you connect your phone using the bluetooth you can see all your call logs and messages out here coming back to applications again applications there is another uh, my drive connect so if you put that app you can use it's exactly like the apple carplay and the android auto so you can put that app also and then you can use all the the phone you can basically mirror your phone onto the screen and then there is a setup 
now this is where all your setup is so this is for your screen and everything there is also a prayer on button so the car would remind you about your prayer and also it will play like a prayer at the start when you start the car so you know that's a very good feature that toyota has put in the car itself then there are different uh, changes like the, your mute media on reverse so while reversing it would just mute all your uh, media and the uh, the volume will be turned down completely the brightness of the screen the contrast and everything can be done from here then there is the sound which is very simple so you can just change the balance out here using this button or also you can uh, change the bass the treble the mid and everything there's bluetooth you can connect your bluetooth devices from here and add or remove anything that you want there's also a hot spot system so this car can connect to a wi-fi system if there are any wi-fi systems around or if you connect your phone you can use the hotspot and give internet to everyone in the car that's a neat feature and then you come to another media settings where you have the disc autoplay hdmi autoplay so the moment you put or uh, plug anything in it would automatically start playing if you want to and also the slide shows if on the screen whatever is uh, being shown how long you want them to be that is pretty much very simple easy to use system on the toyota like everything has the buttons at the bottom also there's a mute there's menu there is navigation there is eject there is also tune button and also the volume and if you want to keep the screen on while keeping the media on you can do that also so if you want to switch on you can just press it again and then get back to the the infotainment screen again so that is it for this video give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful in understanding all the different systems on the toyota actually the the land cruiser is a very simple car to operate you know just get in and then you will get very used to quite easily and it's just that the crawl control needed a bit of you know understanding because it's got a bit of a procedure to uh, you know activate that crawl system so i thought you know let me show you that also if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care